Good. <laughs> Good morning from Varanasi. So Varanasi, one of the oldest cities in the world and one of the most holy. It's a place where a lot of the older Hindus come to die as they believe it gives them salvation and they get the freedom from the birth and death cycle. Just read that on Google, but I'm learning. A lot of them come here, get cremated and their ashes get spread in the Ganges River down there. So I definitely won't be swimming. But there's a lot of these ghats, which are like staircases down to the river bank. I'm at Asi Ghat now. I'm gonna head to a few further down. Um, one of them is where they cremate the bodies. So obviously I don't know how much I'll be able to show there. I'll be able to try and describe it and a bit nervous about going. But Varanasi seems nice. It's a very, it's a lot more chilled place from, obviously I've only spent a morning here, but it seems a lot more chilled, less of the hustle and bustle with the other cities I've been to, Jaipur, Delhi and Agra. So we're just going to explore today and give my first impression of the place. Everyone says it's their favourite place in India. Everyone's recommended it. They just said it's just a mad place, like the energy here. But yeah, we'll just walk down here and then there's two other famous ghats that I want to go to, so but they're quite far away, they're two miles up the road. So I'm going to have to get a tuk-tuk up to them and we'll explore them. They're the two most famous ones. One's famous for like the street art and the other, as I said, the famous for where they cremate the bodies. Apparently normally about 300 bodies a day they cremate and put into the river. There's a lot of people in the water down there and as hot as it is, and as cooling as it would be to get in that water. <laughs> I know what they put in the water, so it's meant to be like holy as well, And um, but yeah, I don't fancy swimming with cremated ashes, so I'm gonna have to give it a miss, maybe another time. But I'm just having a stroll about and keep walking up the river, see what I see. There's a lot of like holy men walking about. I don't know the exact term, but yeah, it's a mad place. It's very different to the rest of India that I've been to. Obviously, I've only been to three cities, but it seems so different already. So, I'm at one of the ghats now where they are cremating people. Obviously, I'm not going to show you because there is one where there is a body there. And out of respect, I'm not going to show you. It's just there's logs along the, like, along the front. And obviously, they cremate people and then they put the ashes into the river. So, they because the Hindus believe about the salvation and getting the freedom from the birth and death cycle. So that's why many of the Hindus come here to die. It's quite a, I don't know, a surreal place. It's, a, it's hard to describe. I'm just sat here trying to take it in, but yeah, it's definitely an amazing place. It's very interesting. And we'll keep walking, walking down further to see more of the ghats. There's a lot of people gathered around, which I don't know, I'm guessing maybe it's friends and family. The, for the essentially the cremation but yeah it's an interesting place and we'll go further along to yeah show you more of Varanasi show you more of the sites obviously I'll film what I can film and keep in respect of what I can't and you'll have to come here to experience it yourself so I'm just walking away from the cremation area now I'm sure there'll be plenty further on um, I was just reading about it where it's saying yeah, the ashes are spread in the sacred waters of the Ganges, which they believe will end the reincarnation cycle, so the person will reach Nirvana. Yeah, it's really, it's like the main economy of Varanasi, the burning of bodies. As it cost around 10 to to $100 to get a body burnt there, and takes around four hours. Um, but yeah, so I think a lot of older Hindis come here, and that's why it's such a main economy because Hindis from all over India come to Varanasi to, to finish their life. I'm now in the Dash Ash Wade. This is one of the most famous ones and it's a lot busy in the others. No, good. It's a lot busy in the others, it's very colourful. It says it's known for its Ganga art, but I've not seen too much art. No, thank you. But it's a lot busier than the others. I don't want to massage, thank you. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I've got you. 
but it's very busy here. Right, it's just started massaging my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, thank you. I'll remember you tomorrow. I'll, I'll remember you tomorrow. Oh. 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 Oh, I didn't think I'd be getting a hand massage here. Oh, I feel like I just snapped me off. No? England. <laughs> Everyone's just laughing at me. I'm just in the middle of the street getting a Chinese bird. Oh, that's literally what we used to do to each other at school. That's good. No, no, I'm done. That's good. I'll, you. I'll give you something. No, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> Give me a neck massage and I don't even want to. No. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, I just did that to get him off me. It's so annoying. I had no change whatsoever. So I had to give him a hundred. It's a Chinese burn and then get hit on the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all they do, they don't leave you alone and then you're just stuck, you literally just grabbed my arm and started doing it but, and then I was hoping, oh I'll just get an arm massage, I'll give him 50 or 30 or something and they ended up getting roped in to give 100 for yeah, a little Chinese bird but it's a lot busier here, look There's people down there in the water So this place seems a lot like touristy, like this gap seems a lot more touristy There are loads of people selling stuff but the other ones there's nothing They weren't selling anything at all, no bracelets or anything Whereas here it does seem a bit, yeah, a bit of a touristy gap but we're going to keep heading up because I think that's where the main area for the cremations is which I don't know, it's, hard, it's a hard one it's one of those you want to see but it's also hard to see at the same time for me like, I've never seen that sort of stuff before and yeah so it took me a bit by surprise before just like how open it was and how yeah how much you could see to be honest so I'm heading towards Manikarnika Gat now which is the place where they do all the cremations. I can see like hundreds of logs and a lot of fires going as well, which, yeah, it's mad to see. It's hard to see, but yeah, it's a, it's a very sacred place. It's very, as I said earlier, it's very different to all the other places I've been in India. It seems more chilled. It seems, I don't know, that people are here for a reason. So yeah, it's very interesting. I'll show you as much as I can without obviously showing you anything I can't. So I'm just sat on the step because I've just left the area where they cremate the bodies. I walked into the area and ended up getting a tour guide. So the tour guide obviously said no photos or anything. So I couldn't record during, the, during being in that area. So we walked up to, there's like a viewpoint where is actually a crematorium as well but there were no bodies being burnt there at the time and you were overlooking the whole area there was about 11 fires going at the time and he was talking through how there's like lower class middle class and the bit we were standing on was like the higher class people so obviously the prices vary between the different ones he said for the lower class it was around 50 to 60 pounds they have 
body cremated there. So while being up there you see lots of uh, bodies being carried down, covered in flowers and everything and obviously placed on the logs. The family, the friends, the neighbours, anyone who yeah, was part of their life gives donations and everything on top of the fire. They then get the fire from the eternal flame which is the flame that, that's been going for as long as people know and obviously they put that onto the wood and it says they take about four hours and then they spread the ashes into the river Ganges to stop the reincarnation process. He said there's at least 300 bodies a day which get cremated in that area and there's three, three cremation areas along the river. Obviously I've seen two of them today. He says three and a half because the half is some people get cremated elsewhere and then bring their ashes to put in the river. When we're in that top area by the viewpoint sort of thing where it, where, where it's the high class crematorium um, there was a, actually a very old man there and the guide was talking through saying that he was basically waiting to die so then he could be cremated in Varanasi and stop the reincarnation and be put into the Ganges River so yeah it's very real to be honest when you're here and it's something that is hard to describe especially when you can't show it so you kind of have to come here to experience it yourself. Yeah, so Varanasi is somewhere you have to visit when you're here. It's, I've only been one day, I've still got two days to explore Varanasi and show you everything it has to offer. It's such an interesting place already and I've only explored it for three, four hours. So I hope you like the video. It's something a bit different, a bit, yeah, a bit more deep, but yeah, it's kind of what it's like sometimes. You explore these places and it's very diverse India so far I have not even explored much of it and it's very diverse already it's very interesting and yeah so thanks for watching make sure you follow all my socials as well as like and subscribe so thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one